Hey fellas, welcome to my playthrough of Loveland. Happy Father's Day, even though this is probably coming the day after Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth, or whatever that is. There's a new holiday every year, it feels like. Uh, I don't know anything about this game, other than that there's a pretty heavy filter on it. And it's called Loveland. Let's do it. Start demo. There's a cool frog. That is a, that is a really cool frog. Oh my god. Hope you're all doing well. Ooh. Agency Detective Cryptid Div Divzian. Codename Loveland. I like the atmosphere, so I'll leave it on. For the last couple of months, there have been several missing persons reported out of Loveland, Ohio. Initially, we had very little to go on until about one week ago. Mr. Buchanan, a resident of a small trailer park on the outskirts of town, contacted the Loveland authorities to report strange happenings from within the park. He claimed that the other members of the community had begun worshipping frogs and have formed a cult whilst also kidnapping the local townsfolk. We are dispatching you to investigate these reports and determine exactly what it is we are dealing with. Good luck, detective. We know you'll need it. I just ran over like three frogs. Um, okay, what does this do? Cool. Alright, that could stop. Do I have my piece? It's my mapping kit. I've already sketched out the surrounding areas. Yeah, but where's my gun? My flashlight. It's the only piece of equipment the agency lets us bring. I'm sorry, sir. You are not allowed to call yourself a detective. You don't have a gun? Detective 0451, Loveland, Ohio, 09-1991. Codename Loveland, status classified. Eight days ago, Agency Communication Operatives, ACO, intercepted a phone call directed towards the Loveland Police Department. Mr. Buchanan, Mr. Buchanan, a resident of a small trailer park on the outskirts of town and wait, didn't we just hear this? We, we, we just heard this on tape, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we didn't get this part, though. Mr. Bucknan, who resides in Trailer 102, indicated that the residents have begun worshipping... Wait, yeah, we, we read this whole thing! We've been dispatched to determine if anomalous activities have occurred. Remember, Detective, you are to operate in complete secrecy. Do not divulge any information that may compromise you or the agency. Of course not. My agency ID... Probably shouldn't be, shouldn't go waving this around unless absolutely necessary. Let us go. This is awesome, by the way. Why am I gliding? <laughs> oh, hold on, I didn't turn off the lights. Should I leave and end my investigation? Whoa, whoa, whoa no, 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 no. I, I just wanted to turn off the lights. I don't want the battery to go out. Loveland Cove? Loveland Love? I think it's Cove. It's a cool skybox. I should start by checking in on Mr. Bucknan in Trailer 102. Now, I don't mean any offense to anybody that lives in a trailer, but... I would be terrified <laughs> to live in the middle of nowhere with six other people in trailers. Is this 100 or 102? That's 201. What you got going on in there? It went <laughs> it went completely dark and I got kind of scared. That's the back door, idiot. Go around. Well, I didn't really want to talk to you anyway, but I guess I will. It's like an adventure. This is so weird. Yeah, who is it? I'm a detective with the agency. I'm with the police. It's me, your neighbor, and it's locked. Okay. So... Let me just walk away. Really creepy to do that, but I guess we'll do it right now. And let's try and talk to this person, then. 
No answer, but it's unlocked. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Clean. Let me close this. I don't want anybody sneaking up on me. Especially when I don't have a piece, you know? My gun? Five more missing in Loveland. Another five people have been reported as missing in Loveland, Ohio, including the 18-year-old daughter of the newly appointed minister of the Heartland Church of Christ. This brings the total number of persons to have vanished in the previous weeks to eight. Police are requesting that anyone with any information on the missing persons to contact their tip line. All right, we gotta go in with a slight accent. All right, we're dropping the accent. Shit, how do I get out? A fuse, this might be useful later on. I don't like the situation we're in. Oh, there's a back door, cool. There is, is that Christ or is that? No. That's weird. Pick up crickets and mealworms from the bait shop. Feed children. Check in on Jeremiah, traitorous bastard, in 104. Change out the jugs and the stills. Bathe in his glory. Alright, we gotta check on 104, Jeremiah. And I'll just turn all this on. So as to set this house on fire. Ugh, that stench. I'm starting to feel weird. Okay, let's get out, let's get out. It's fine. We're out, we're out, we're out. It's cool, it's cool. Whoa, am I drugged up? Already? One oh two? I guess. Oh, that is so loud. Why did it get so loud? Wait, is that a person? No. Cool. That heathen Jeremiah went to the cops. Gather the flock. We need to be ready in case they come around sniffing where they shouldn't be. As for Jeremiah, find him. Bring him to me. The Lord has special ways of dealing with a Judas, Pastor Abram. That is fucking scary. Okay. So we gotta find Jeremiah. We gotta get him the fuck out of here. He went out the back. Ooh. When them frogs first showed up, I thought they were harmless. Hell, maybe even a little cute. Boy, was I wrong. Just touching one sends you flying higher than a kite. Not only that, you feel this strong connection. Almost like God himself was calling out to you. Wasn't long before Pastor Abram was holding up the frogs, declaring them our savior. And everyone believes him. Now people from town are showing up as missing. That is a very, uh, grammatically correct piece of paper this redneck wrote. <laughs> Frog repellent? What, what, uh, we're in 102, right? Frog repellent, one part lemon juice, one part vinegar. Mix in pot and bring to boil. Horn spray bottle and apply liberally to frog. One part lemon juice, one part vinegar. An empty spray bottle. Yes, we will make some right now if we can. Um, lemon juice, where is the vinegar? Shit. Awesome. Cool. Bring to a boil. Oh, yes. Okay. So now we do have a gun. Okay. Shoot with right click, which is odd, but I guess it's not weird. 103... Dude, I didn't want to... I didn't want to handle this this way. I wanted to be methodical. 103. Okay. 
So I think we could turn off the power over there, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to disturb, you know, the locals. Oh, no, you open all the way or not at all. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck right off, man. Moonshine? Frog shine? What is this? Moonshine mixed with frogs? I should bring a sample of this back to the lab. All right. Open and shut case. My little boy Timmy is finally ready for the end of days. I won't lie. I didn't trust Abram at first. Forcing a child to drink alcohol? It seemed like madness. But he kept insisting he drink the frog shine. And wouldn't you know it? It worked. Timmy's taken on the Lord's form and is ready to survive the Great Flood. Thank you, Pastor Abram. Alright, Pastor Abram is fucking... He's a problem. You never know when you'll need a screwdriver. Ain't that the truth. That's a redneck staple. Bring your tools. Locked. I should be able to unlock it with the screwdriver. What is going on here? Is that a banana? It's part of some kind of medallion. I'm really dreading when this game gets scary. Oh my god, I... I splatted him. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. Wait, no, I don't want to be in there. What is this? Okay, it's just water. Let me run up there, Bill, while I do other stuff. Am I drinking it? Oh, that tasted awful, but it feels so good. No, 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 you idiot. Wait, is something different in that room? No. <laughs> I thought maybe something would open up for me, but... Everything is just louder and scarier. Ooh, they're gonna be looking for people with <laughs> a high gas bill. Okay. Let's stop fucking around. We, act we, gotta, we gotta solve some, some mysteries here. We can't just keep doing whatever we want. 202... Wait, do I gotta jump in there? That is odd. I do not like how all of these are unlocked. Dude, what the fuck, man? I can't close this door. It's a wallet with an ID. The picture on the ID looks like one of the missing persons. Oh, that's it, dude. We need to leave, right? Why would we stay anymore? We have proof that something's going on. It's one of the hidden scrolls. And I can't pick it up. Bunch of clothing. Tank tops and overalls. And another piece of the medallion. Thomas is the most enchanting man I've ever met. As the Lord speaks through him, I can't help but hang upon it, his every word. He says the Lord speaks of a second great flood that will come and wash away the wickedness of this world. But he promises that if we devote ourselves to the Lord, he will shed us of our current bodies and mold us into his form. I feel no fear as I stare into Thomas's eyes. There is only a deep love. I trust him to guide us. He is our Messiah. And you're fucking crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. All right. I will spray. Oh, boy. My, uh, my shield. Check all your corners, man. Alright, he's not in the fridge. Anybody else freaking out like me right now? 
What is that? There's something happening out on the lake. Bear witness to their birth. Free. I look upon the lake and know my time is drawing near. I should be overjoyed, but all I feel is disappointment. I thought Thomas would be proud that the Lord chose me as a vessel for his children. Instead, he raised his voice in an anger that could only be matched by the fiery pits of hell. But what was I to do? Deny the Lord his children? I couldn't do that. So here I wait, alone. Ah, uh, okay. Anybody in there? This trailer is covered in spiders. What in the hell is going on in there? I want nothing to do with this trailer. But god damn it, do I want to read that note. We'll come back, we'll come back, we'll come back. I promise we'll come, yeah, we'll come back for sure. Absolutely. I just have to find Jeremiah. Have I been in this trailer? Yeah. I don't know why, but I just thought I should. It's a key. Looks like it's for trailer 104. So he's not going to answer then, most definitely. It's locked. Good thing I found the key already. Ah, what a smart game. The key broke off in the lock. Um, I can't turn it off. Shut up. <laughs> Mixing the moonshine with the frog shot was a stroke of genius. The alcohol cuts back on the psychedelic effects, letting us stay connected to the Lord while still being able to walk and talk. I've been sneaking it to people at the bar I work at. You can always tell when it hits them. You see the Lord's love in their eyes. Usually only takes a shot or two before they decide to join our flock. Such is the power of the Lord. Or methamphetamines. You know, I was... I, I, I don't know why, but I freaked out. I thought Jesus was looking at me. Like he was following me, you know? But that's stupid because it's two-dimensional. <laughs> I'm smart. Who should I call? True Believer Radio... Agency hotline call Timmy Tom's Pizza Bomberia. Um, let's call the radio. I don't even know how we have the number. Hello, caller. You've reached Speaker John on True Believer Radio. Tell me, caller, do you have an experience that turned you into a true believer that you'd like to share with us? Well, as a detective in the agency, so this is like. You have an IQ of 35. On a dark and stormy night, is Ivana there or Ivana? Hang up. Let's go with is Ivana there. I think it's a joke. Is Ivana there? I'm sorry, Ivana. Ivana who? Ivana hump a lot. God. There's no Ivana. Ah, how immature. I hope you feel proud of yourself. Who should I call? Let's call Timmy Tom's Pizza Bomberia. You've got Timmy Tom's Pizza Bomberia. What kind of pie do you want to try? Ah, man, I don't I've never had anchovies on pizza. I've had Hawaiian pizza because I was forced to. I was held at gunpoint. Um, it's whatever. Pepperoni pizza is always the way to go. I'd like to order a pepperoni pizza. One meat lover's pepperoni only got it. Okay, your total comes out to five ninety nine. It'll be delivered sometime in the next ten minutes. If not, your pizza's free. Thanks. See you then. I think I fucked up. I don't think I should have done that. And you got like a whole system out here. Looks like this is where they make the fro the frog shine. The door. The I can't read. It. I can't speak. The door is boarded up. A crowbar would be useful. Indeed it would. I'm not sure we can find one, though. I 
Timmy Tom. Why did all the streetlights suddenly lose power? I don't know, but can we go in here now? It looks like I need some kind of medallion to unlock the gate. I think I have to go in the spider trailer. <laughs> Oh my god. Sounds like my pizza's here. I literally just stepped away for a second. Ah, oh, shit. There he is. Hey man, got your pie right here. You look fucking crazy. It'll be $5.99 for the pizza. Here, keep the change. Thanks, dude. Smell you later. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza. It smells absolutely delicious. Okay, I guess we just head back to... I don't know. The spider trailer. Ugh, fuck. Oh, no. I ever mentioned how much I hate spiders. Oh, they're making noises. Ah, oh, I don't like it. Oh my god, they're all like black widows or something. No, <laughs> I hate this. Ah, oh, shoot. I want to read it, but this guy is annoying me. The Lord has blessed us with a gift from heaven. A way to survive the upcoming end of days. We must tend to the Lord's children, to love and embrace them. In return, he promises to bless us with a new form. One that can withstand 40 days and 40 nights of torrential rain. Yet, while we toil in his garden, feeding and breeding, cultivating this gift, the local heathens taint it. They dilute it poisoning it, muddying his word. These sinners will never truly be saved. I can't shut him up. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get up to that medallion and something's gonna scare me. Look. Hmm, it's covered in some kind of goop. Maybe I should clean it off before taking. That should do it. <sighs> but I cleaned it off. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get fucking ruined. Okay, here we go. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that we made it through there without dying or something crazy happening. Um, all right, can we go to the lake now? Oh, we got to turn on the power. Nothing's going to happen when we... Bitch. Nothing's going to happen when we turn this on, right? That didn't take too long. A fuse is missing. Good thing I brought one earlier. Alright, let's go. There, the gate should be powered now. I wonder if we go to our car, if, uh... If we'll get beat up, you know? Like, that's an ending. Oh boy. There are no invisible walls, so we could go anywhere, but let's go straight up. This must be Abram's trailer. Let's see if he's home. Why would we do that? I mean, fuck it. No answer, not surprising. I better have a look inside. Who says that? No warrant. No bread? Oh, this guy's not a pastor. The walls are covered in hand-painted portraits of... Um... 
I couldn't quite catch that last word, but I believe it's probably Jesus. An unlabeled VHS tape. Okay. So we could read that. But I got it. Oh, dude, they're all over there. Whoops. It's just Windex. Don't worry about it. I want to watch the tape. I do. But I want to see what else is around. Oh, yeah. Secrets. The Lord has spoken to me. He lamented the defilement of his name and spoke of a corruption that permeates all of existence, a thick fog that dims all that is holy and righteous, rendering the world past the point of salvation. He then told me of his plans to flood the earth, to drown the false prophets and idols that inundate, inundate the lands, to end all mankind. He has chosen me as he did Noah. I must lead his flock to salvation. We must shed our current bodies, full of sin and embrace a form truly in our Lord's image. Um, why am I sliding to the left slowly? What's going on here? Am I being dragged into the window? That's weird. The book of Genesis, chapter 6. The earth was also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Uh, God, the E in earth is supposed to be capitalized? Can't believe I have to tell you that. Strange. Ooh. I bet this key opens a padlock door. And more of that moonshine. I'm not going to take that. Okay. Oh, please don't scare me. Alright, let's watch that VHS before we go any further. Can I lock a door? No. Dodge. Man, TV sucks out here. I guess we gotta find a VHS player. I mean, it might be in here. Oh boy. What is all this? Surveillance equipment? Oh no, 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 no loading screen. I wanted to see stuff. The agency, September 20th, 1991. Did I leave? Interrogation or a Boros. I want to close the door. Good evening, detective. We hope your investigation was a success. Please have a seat. Thank you, Detective. Now, our line of work is very dangerous. Especially to those with a weak mind. Uh-oh. To combat this, we employ the use of sodium pentothal. Think of it as a kind of truth-telling serum. Now, Detective, please take the pill on the desk, place it into your mouth, and then swallow it. Why? Get me out of this chair and turn this TV off. I don't want to take it. All right, fine. <laughs> Wait, but I have so many questions. 
I didn't even get to see what what that whole circle was about. I wanted to no. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to see the lake and Oh man. I guess we got to wait for the real game to come out. It doesn't even have a release date though. All right guys, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad I found this game. It it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty effective. I do want to know what this whole frog business is about. And I, I love a good cult story, so I'm all for it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.